was actually started by Thor, who's the president, who's not here today. But uh, he kind of wanted a, a club for philosophical discussion. So it started out like twice a week, the club would get together a couple of semesters ago and do, I call it salon style discussion, where there's a topic at the beginning of the day and um, you just discuss it. Things like where does life begin or uh, various arguments for theistic belief, uh, you know, cosmological argument, ontological, etc. Or current events, um, we discussed whether or not the Pope should be arrested. There was that, uh, that deal with Dawkins and Hitchens recently. Uh -huh. um, or uh, skepticism means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And um, sometimes that manifests itself in the form of conspiracy theories, uh, saying I'm skeptical of what the mainstream media puts out there, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that this happened. Recently, members from the club went to Skeptical, a conference in San Francisco dedicated to promoting and furthering concepts of skepticism. Members who went enjoyed Eugenie Scott's definition of skepticism. Scott started Bay Area Skeptics, who claimed to be the longest-running skeptics organization in the country. She now works for the National Center for Science Education, which fights for causes like keeping evolution being taught in schools. Her definition of skepticism was delaying judgment until you have enough evidence, one way or the other, to state your opinion. Which, I agree with. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it counters the sort of, um, I don't know, lay person's notion of skepticism, which is just automatically doubting everything you hear just because you're a skeptic and that's what you do. Yeah. And focusing on just the delaying judgment until you have enough evidence to at least convince you of your, of your position. I think it's a good one. Uh, we just started kind of promoting the club on campus. Um, we, the Christian clubs do a lot of promotion, uh -huh. and one of the reasons why I wanted to be more active in this club is because there is there are Christian youth groups out there that are great for Christians. I mean, it's a social outlet. They get to do things, and there wasn't one for atheists uh, or skeptics, uh, to use the other half of our, our title. So... Um, uh, I kind of wanted to promote that a little bit to, to get people that hadn't heard about us yet to know that there was a social outlet that wasn't a Christian youth group. Uh -huh. um, so everyone likes high fives. We did high five an atheist. Um, we did ask an atheist because we get all sorts of questions from people not understanding because it's a very different perspective than a lot of uh, theistic ones. Uh, not understanding uh, important things like how, how do you derive morality? I love, I love the Thursday meetings. Every every single, almost every single meeting, I'm I, I feel like it, it's like an intellectual workout. It's I, I let I leave with that intellectual exhaustion of like oh my god I've been thinking about stuff so hard for two hours. Um, you know the the animal rights one is the one I always go back to. That was probably the most compelling. Um, conversation I've had in recent in recent history just the, you know the um, if you are the the morality of saying that you don't want if you believe in the um, not harming uh, you know living, living things does that extend to animals that that sort of thing